Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we'll be talking about Flake8 and why it does not report an unused import in a very particular case. Let me show you that particular case and explain why it happens. All right, so we are going to open up a Python file and uh, the particular case is uh, two imports that look like this and then a print down here that's like, I don't know, a.x or whatever. So if we run Flake8 on this file, even though a doesn't exist because Flake8 only does static analysis, uh, you'll see that it does not report an unused import for this. However, you know, if I put import B here, you'll see that it does import, you know, B imported but unused. And the question is, why does this happen? Um, so let's actually make an example of this and show why this happens. Uh, if we do make a directory A and touch A slash init.py and we make dir or touch A slash B.py, that way that can be imported. And in a slash double internet, we have to make an x, which is one. And if we run t, oops, Python 3, uh, you'll see that it prints a dot x, which is one. So this, this code works. Um, and the reason that this is not, uh, you know, implemented that way, actually, let's do uh, dash s. Let's see. I just want to avoid my startup. Oh, no, that still runs my startup. <laughs> Oh, I guess I can do Python startup. I have a special startup and I want to show the globals that are here. So I want to avoid these special things here. Okay, so these are the built-in names that always come here. So uh, always equals set this and we're going to ignore those in a second. Okay, so if I do import A and we do uh, set dir minus uh, always, you'll see, <laughs> all right. Uh, we have to also avoid the <laughs> the variable always. Okay, so if we do uh, import A, you'll see that it only introduces the name A. It doesn't introduce any names below that. And if we again do import A.B, you'll see that that didn't introduce any new names. So what this does is it performs a side effect. So it makes A.B available in sys.modules. So a.b uh, is available in sys.modules. However, it doesn't change the names that are exposed to your module. And so from, from uh, Flake8's perspective, well, specifically PyFlakes, because that's what actually implements this check. From PyFlakes perspective, these two statements, all they do is introduce a name called a. Uh, and they, they, both do, they both do it at the same time. Uh, I guess not in the same time, but in order. Um, and so any reference to that variable that's introduced by these two import statements will mark that import statement as used. So this is sufficient to mark both of these as used. Uh, now in reality, this import statement is the one that's actually unused and you could delete this import statement. Uh, and if you're, you know, if you're using my tool called, uh, called reorder, if install reorder python imports uh, reorder python imports knows that this is a this is an unnecessary import and so if you run it on this file uh, you'll see that it oh wait <laughs> it's supposed to remove this one why didn't oh i didn't actually pass the file name in okay i see i see i see uh, so you'll see it it knows that that import is unused now let me show you a case where uh, this acts a little bit strangely so like this works right now uh, and you might imagine that I could remove this import and it will still work. So if we do Python 3 t.py, you'll see that that still works. Uh, so this import is unnecessary, but the static analysis can't really know that. Uh, there is actually a case where this will force this to be available. And so let's show that case here. If we make uh, a slash x.py and we remove uh, x from a slash double internet, you'll see that uh, this this, uh, oh, and then we have to do one more thing. Uh, we have to import a.x into b.py. And so now if we run this, it should print a module. Yeah, so you'll, you'll see that it prints a.x, uh, and that's actually a side effect of importing this module. You probably don't want this in real code because it's, uh, uh, you know, problematic, but you would say like, oh, well, this is unnecessary, so I can remove this import. Uh, but no, you can't actually remove this import because it, uh, you know, it, it has a side effect of bringing in a.x. So there's there's a couple of weird cases where you would want to actually have these imports stick around. Now, of course, in this case, you can still remove this import and it continues to work. Uh, there's actually a couple standard library modules that have this sort of problem as well. 
Uh, one very popular one is the OS module, which uh, brings in OS.path automatically. Um, and I believe this is dependable. I think it's somewhere written in the Python documentation that this is okay. Um, but I still import OS.path just because I, I feel like it's more explicit when I'm using, you know, like OS.path.join foo and bar. I will do, I will put import OS.path at the top just to make sure that, you know, this, this module looks like it's always imported. But anyway, hopefully that explains why this acts in this particular way uh, and something to look out for in your code. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.